keep data fresh. So Joe's happy that the dashboards are loading a lot quicker, uh, but he's noticed that the, the information doesn't, doesn't seem to have been updated. Uh, and again, he's asked Anouk, okay, this, this doesn't seem to be right. We don't seem to have yesterday's, uh, yesterday's information in there. So what Anouk's realized is that he's not actually uh, set, the, um, set the data to be refreshed. So he's going to go into Tableau Server and he's going to schedule what we call an extract refresh so that Tableau Server is going to talk to the database on a regular basis and pull in pull in fresh data. So if we go into uh, the standard data sources folder and we go into the rental data, which contains all of our data, we can go into extract refreshes and we can say, let's create a new extract refresh. Now we have a number of schedules that already exist uh, within within Tableau Server. Uh, so these are these are these are predefined, but they can also be customized. And we have a particular uh, schedule that we're going to attach this workbook onto or this data source onto so that the, uh, uh, the data is refreshed correctly. Um, and that's going to be that's the one that we, we've got called every morning like clockwork. So I'm going to click schedule refresh. And I can see that this new extract has scheduled um, and it's shown me when I last updated it and when it will be next to be updated. Actually, this every morning like clockwork schedule is actually only shown to be shown on the 31st day of the month. So this is, is probably named incorrectly. So let's delete this schedule and let's create a, a new schedule. So let's say, uh, weekday early mornings that meets our requirements. Okay, and again, this is still showing the, uh, the incorrect date. So what we're going to do is we're gonna show you how to create a, a new schedule, which is, which is customized. Now, when I try and actually schedule an extract refresh, you notice I can only pick from a predefined list of options. Um, I can't set this to run at, at, a, at, a, at, a, at, a, at a custom time. Uh, the, the reason for that is, is that you don't necessarily want your users to be scheduling extracts here, there, and everywhere. Uh, you might want to schedule it only on a, only on a specific, uh, only on a specific uh, time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to log out of the new. I'm going to make a request for loop to actually create me a new schedule that I can use. So I'm going to go into, I'm going to go into schedules. And I can see that actually in this scenario, actually loop doesn't actually have the right access to, uh, to create a new schedule. So actually this is actually, we would need to create a, uh, the dummy account that I've created for this doesn't have the right privilege here. So, uh, that's not a problem. We can use one of these schedules that we already have. So I will log back out and log in as a new. So there's um, two levels of administrator in Tableau Server. Uh, there is what we call a site administrator and what we call a server administrator. So the user that we have here to, to manage our data governance, Luke, is only a site administrator. Uh, and if we actually want to um, we, if we want to create a new schedule, we actually need that to be performed by a server administrator, which is a, which is an additional level of access that we that we don't have. So if I just go back into the uh, the standard data sources, and I just create a, a new extract refresh, I'm going to see if every hour on the hour will suffice. Okay, that's also uh, the 31st of May, but that's that's fine. So we will uh, we will fix this fix this later. And I can see that I am now I am now scheduled uh, this extract to be refreshed uh, on, on a regular basis. Now, obviously, I, I've been given a request to make sure this data is up to date. Uh, so, although we've actually defined this on on a schedule, um, I'm also going to kick this off uh, once manually now uh, to make sure that we do get uh, we do get extracted data. Now, I, I can see the last updated date is showing me the uh, the seventh of May. Um, and this is actually actually the date that Tableau Desktop pulled the data through and not the date uh, that Tableau Server pulled the data through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the, uh, the drop down box here. I'm going to click on refresh extracts. Uh, as you can see, I've also got the option to schedule a refresh here, but I'm also going to click on refresh now. Uh, now refresh now. Uh, this shows me uh, all the all the refreshes uh, that are, sorry, this, uh, this extract refreshes shows me the, the, the refresh that's been performed. Uh, and if I re reload this page, um, I should see that, yep, the last update date has changed. Uh, and this is now showing me the data has been updated 
at 12 minutes past the hour, which is, uh, which is a few seconds ago. So I can now be confident that this data source has had the most recent data pulled through from, from, from the database, uh, and, and I'm happy with that. If I actually, um, if as Luke, I wanted to uh, audit all of the various um, extract refreshes that have been performed, I can do that. So if I just want to log in as Luke, and if I want to go into jobs, uh, I can see all the various jobs that have been, um, all the various jobs that have been executed on, on the server. Uh, so the, the relationship effectively is, um, as part of a schedule, we define something called a task. So in this case, we see we only have one task on the server, and that task is to update the rental data. And then a, a job is a particular instance of that task. So if we had a task to update the data every day, and that was running for seven days, um, we would expect seven jobs. Uh, you can actually see that there are two historically failed jobs. Um, these were jobs where we had a faulty, faulty connection to a database. Um, uh, as I was setting these demos up yesterday, um, uh, and actually you, if you hover over one of these, uh, you can see that you get a nice um, uh, descriptive error message about what the particular issue was. Uh, and in, in that case, it was the, it was the uh, incorrect database credentials. Um, but we've but we've now but we've now we've now corrected that. So if a user has uh, an issue with a um, with a data source not being refreshed, then you have the option to actually look at these uh, look at these extra bits of logging information um, and to and to and to capture any issues that might have might have happened within there. Okay.